everyone happy evening a very good evening i hope and i believe all of you are doing well a quick nod whether the audio visual is all good let me check this i don't know okay so is the audio visual all good everyone a quick nod there i i am absolutely not understanding why am i not able to see the video okay i think finally i am okay okay all right so yes after a long time i think after a long break we are resuming the nf100 series uh, that is uh, basically your uh, uh that is your neat pg and fmge top 100 topics right so we have completed episodes of 56 till now and this is the episode 57 where we will be simplifying the topic of a uh, dar oriented diagram so how many of you find this topic difficult you know when you see that uh, question of dar oriented diagram and you are like i'm skipping this question i'm not even attempting this question how many of you have this fear of dar oriented diagram yes Ha, you have all right just give me a minute all right everyone i am back am i audible and visible now all right so in this session i am going to try my best uh, to make this uh, topic very very easy for you so that this topic becomes one of those where you will be like i just pray that i get a question on daro in a diagram so until now if you are one of those where you were like you used to skip this uh after this session i'm hoping that you'll be one of those will be saying ki i want a question on daro in a diagrams all right uh, so before we start with the discussion i want each one of you to enroll for this all india mock test because I personally believe that practicing the mock test from various platforms uh, gives you exposure to the multiple types of questions. And the best part is, uh, we are going to give you a all India rank prediction, like based on the previous stats, what rank you will get, uh, you know, what rank you can expect in your final exam. So we are having this rank prediction feature that's going to be there, and this mock test is on April seventeen at nine a.m. And if you are asked for a code to enroll, you can use the code Doctor Nikita. Okay, uh, an academy light. It's a new subscription that we have started. It's a test series, uh, basically, to practice multiple questions. There are four fifty plus practice tests. It has subject wise tests. It has system wise tests, and it has your full length mock test as well. Right? You will have your grand test, which includes your PYQs also, and you can take the test on Android and on web uh, web as well. Okay, we are also launching for Prof One the new students who are entering MBBS. So uh, we are starting with a new batch from them on April twenty. You have the various three months, six months, and twelve months subscription available. Also for the plus subscribers, now we have the daily practice papers where after every class you will be you know given a test to assess your understanding of the topic. Then the new batches that we are starting, uh, April thirteen, that is uh, tomorrow for FMGE High Yield Revision MCQ batch, one month. If you are one of those persons who has suddenly realized that I want to prepare for FMG, you can follow this batch. And also the for the NEET PG students, there's this one month batch which we are starting tomorrow. All right. Okay, so let's start. Uh, Episode fifty five and fifty six. Fifty six was coronary circulation. Fifty five, even I don't remember. There was one topic. Fifty uh, six was coronary circulation. All right. So let's start with the discussion of uh, Darrow unit diagrams. See, basically in Darrow unit diagrams, in the diagram it is about the loss of fluid or the gain of fluid, and what kind of fluid is the patient is the person losing or gaining. 
ठीक है रुको सो बेसिकली डायरो इन ए डायग्राम इट इज अबाउट द लॉस और द गेन either of what kind of fluid is it is it isotonic fluid is it hypotonic fluid or it is hypertonic fluid thank you so much wings for reminding that it was triangles of neck episode 55 on the an academy app right so in daro in a diagrams we need to know that whether it is loss or it is gain of fluid and what kind of fluid it is okay that is what we need to know so <clears throat> whenever there is this loss of fluid okay whenever there is the gain of the fluid like you can see gain of fluid be it isotonic hypotonic or hypotonic it is basically your ecf volume which is changing in the same direction i want you to just remember three to four things that will help you understand this topic so whatever is the change of the fluid whether it is gain or it is the loss of fluid it will be reflected in the ecf volume okay it will be reflected in the ecf volume gain of uh, fluid is your ecf volume increasing loss of fluid is your uh, ecf volume decreasing all right the next thing the next two properties that is the icf volume and the ecf osmolarity if you see both of these are inversely related so let's say if the ecf osmolarity is increasing the icf volume will decrease why very conceptual ecf so you have basically this you have the ecf and you have the icf is the ecf osmolarity is increasing that means it will pull the water from the icf so the icf volume will decrease if the ecf osmolarity is decreasing osmolarity is basically like your water holding so water holding is decreasing so the fluid will go to the icf so the icf volume will increase so remember that ecf osmolarity and the icf volume they are inversely related okay they are inversely related very very important point so if you see in this diagram ecf osmolarity decreased icf volume increased increased decreased increased decreased decreased increased so basically these two are inversely related okay these two are inversely related so when i say it is loss of isotonic fluid loss means the ecf volume will decrease it is isotonic fluid which is going iso osmolar so the osmolarity will not change so the icf volume will not change okay so these are the two most important things that i want you to understand and remember to solve the questions of darrow yenet diagrams all right what are those two things if it is loss or it is gain okay basically the loss or the gain it reflects in your ecf volume we are losing or gaining it is the ecf volume next your ecf osmolarity is inversely proportional to the icf volume if the ecf osmolarity increases icf volume decreases ecf osmolarity decreases icf volume increases okay that these are the two things that will help you understand these diagrams and the concepts okay now look at this one what is the example of gain of isotonic fluid isotonic iso osmolar we have your nacl that is your nacl infusion is gaining so ecf volume increases with isotonic fluid nothing changes right the osmolarity icf volume does not change what is the example of loss of isotonic fluid if there is hemorrhage there is diarrhea vomiting it is isotonic right it is isotonic so loss ecf volume decreases isotonic the rest of the two don't change when it is gain of hypotonic fluid basically hypotonic hypo osmolar that means there is no salt it's only water we are only gaining water so like drinking of tap water or siadh what happens in your siadh it's your inappropriate adh basically increased adh so there is increased anti diuresis which is happening that means there is increased water accumulation in the body so siadh is water accumulation which is gain of hypotonic fluid right it is gain of hypotonic fluid so we are gaining hypotonic fluid so what happens to the ecf volume the ecf volume increases 
what happens to the ecf osmolarity is the next thing you are only gaining water you are not getting the salt so what will happen to the ecf osmolarity the osmolarity will decrease right because you are only gaining water you are not gaining the salt if the ecf osmolarity is decreasing icf is opposite it will increase what is your loss of hypotonic fluid remember sweating like in sweating it is water which is going out hypotonic diabetes insipidus opposite of siadh water going out there's a lot of diuresis ecf volume decreases because we are losing water so imagine that this is the ecf you have water in it and you have the salt in it if you are losing the water that is the black part okay the water is losing so what remains in the ecf is only the salt right that means the osmolarity the salt is increasing so loss of hypotonic fluid will increase the ecf osmolarity okay if the ecf osmolarity is increasing it's your decrease icf volume opposite gain of hypertonic fluid hypertonic hyperosmolar osmolarity means salt so excessive salt is like putting the osmolarity mannitol right mannitol is hyperosmolar so when you are putting the salt you are of course increasing the osmolarity you are gaining the fluid so it is increase volume if the ecf osmolarity is increasing icf volume decreases loss of hypertonic fluid hypertonic means losing the salt hypertonic means salt losing the salt is your adrenocortical insufficiency why because what is the function of your adrenocortical hormone that is your aldosterone what does aldosterone do to the sodium and the potassium remember aldosterone it saves the sodium and it kicks out the potassium it saves the sodium and it kicks out the potassium so if aldosterone is not there sodium salt is going out so the osmolarity will decrease because the salt is going out osmolarity ecf decreasing so icf volume increases okay icf volume increases theek hai so look at the diagrams how do we interpret the diagrams that is very very important now in the diagram basically this is indicating your volume the height is indicating the osmolarity okay the height is indicating the osmolarity so this is ecf and this is icf you can see that normally what is the proportion of ecf and icf which one is more remember i for i icf is in increased quantity right so icf is more ecf is less icf is double right it is 1 is to 2 that we have icf is 2/3 ecf is 1/3 of the total body water so here you see that this one okay your uh, what are we seeing in this one what's happening in this this is your ecf volume which is increasing look at all these diagrams here the dotted line is your change what is the change happening So ECF volume original was this one. Now the ECF volume is increased. The box is going to the right. The ECF volume is increasing. The ECF volume is increasing. So all of these will be gain of fluid. Wherever you see the ECF volume is increasing, that would be the gain of fluid. Wherever you see this box, the dotted line going inside from the original. Loss of fluid. Loss of fluid. Loss of fluid. So the first thing that you need to see in these diagrams, what's happening to the ECF volume, that will help you understand whether this is loss of fluid or it is gain of fluid. Next, look at the osmolarity. If the osmolarity, the height is the same, it is your isotonic fluid. If your osmolarity is decreasing, this is gain of fluid, right? It is gain with the osmolarity decreasing, right? gain with osmolarity decreasing so what are we gaining are we gaining water or are we gaining salt osmolarity is decreasing so we are gaining water it is your gain of hypotonic fluid hypotonic fluid is water when do we gain water when we drink a lot of water or the water is not going out that is your siadh this one there is gain of fluid and the osmolarity is increasing that means so basically there is a lot of salt that we are gaining so it's your salt intake basically 
right your gain of hypertonic fluid salt intake or mannitol intake basically okay next one look at uh, the next images okay the next three images this is loss with isotonic osmolarity not changing diarrhea vomiting hemorrhage this is loss with osmolarity increasing right this is loss with osmolarity increasing so what will we lose that will result in the increased osmolarity you have water you have salt if you lose the water the salt will increase osmolarity will increase when do we lose water sweating right in sweating is where we lose when we have diabetes insipidus a lot of water going out this is loss with hypo the osmolarity decreasing when will the osmolarity decrease when you are losing salt in which condition we lose the salt we lose salt uh, basically here uh, we lose salt when there is adrenocortical insufficiency okay theek hai so this is the crux of the uh, basically the concept that you need to understand and also understand that here look at the change in the icf volume jab osmolarity is decreasing you can see the icf volume is increasing when osmolarity is increasing the height is increasing you can see this icf volume coming inside when osmolarity is increasing you can see the icf coming in osmolarity decreasing you can see the icf going out remember the second point that these are inversely related okay these two are inversely related let's have a look at this one all right so loss of fluid gain of fluid volume contraction volume expansion look at the loss volume contraction dotted line ecf going inside right this is loss it is your isotonic diarrhea hemorrhage vomiting this is your loss with increased osmolarity so you are losing water that is desert may we lose water sweating happening this is loss with the osmolarity also decreasing that means we are losing out salt it is your salt wasting happening adrenal insufficiency volume expansion ecf going out that is volume expansion osmolarity same isotonic osmolarity increasing that means we are taking a lot of salt that is your excessive salt intake osmolarity decreasing with the gain of fluid so we are only gaining water that is your siadh okay that's your siadh is this clear with everyone lakshmi in e where was the e image uh both icf and ecf decrease yes that is what we are seeing here it's your ecf also decreasing the icf also decreasing because the osmolarity is increasing right the ecf osmolarity increasing so it is pulling the water from the icf right so this one is your loss of fluid with increased osmolarity so we are losing water right the osmolarity is increasing losing water is sweating that is in desert okay that is in desert okay is this clear with everyone right look at this one lakshmi your doubt which is there uh, ki dono are decreasing both of them are decreasing like lost in the desert okay it's both theek hai uh let's look at this table again a reminder or uh, repetition revision of what we have seen iso osmotic volume contraction so there is volume loss with the osmolarity remaining same so volume loss diarrhea burns vomiting hemorrhage ecf volume decreases there is volume contraction iso osmotic no change hyper osmotic volume contraction remember here the term hyper osmotic volume contraction this is telling you the final stage what is happening after volume contraction so volume contraction ecf volume decreases hyper osmotic the osmolarity is increasing so you are losing the fluid which is increasing the osmolarity so what are we losing we are losing water sweating fever diabetes insipidus we are losing water icf volume is opposite of the ecf osmolarity hypo osmotic volume contraction it is ecf volume less hypo osmotic osmolarity decreased icf volume increased so we are losing the water which is decreasing the osmolarity 
So basically, we are losing salt. This is adrenal insufficiency. All right. Next one, isoosmotic volume expansion increasing. Volume expansion, ECF volume increasing. ECF volume increasing. Isoosmotic no change. Hyperosmotic increasing the osmolarity. Hypoosmotic decreasing the osmolarity. ICF volume is opposite of the ECF osmolarity. This increases, this decreases. Isoosmotic volume, that is your isotonic NaCl. Hyperosmotic volume expansion, that means what increases the osmolarity? Salt. So excessive salt intake, mannitol intake. Hypoosmotic volume expansion, what decreases the osmolarity? You are gaining water. It is your SIADH. Okay, it's your SIADH. Is this clear with everyone? I hope the Darrow unit diagram, that is what you need to just know that basically the volume contraction or the volume expansion indicates your ECF volume. Whatever is happening to the ECF osmolarity, there will be the opposite change in the ICF volume. If you know this much, you can solve the questions of Darrow unit diagram. Okay, this is what you need to know. Let's practice this question. Tell me, what do you think will be the answer to this one? A 40-year-old man was rescued from desert after spending a day without water. What would be the volume osmolarity diagram? That's your Darrow unit diagram most likely look like in this patient. What do you think would be the answer to this? Amazing. I can see Anjali and Bratati, Ma Patel, Aruba, Aruna, everybody answering right. This is super, super awesome, right? So in such questions, how would you rule out the options is the patient is in the desert. In desert, hot temperature, we are sweating, right? So sweating is happening. Sweating is the loss of fluid. It is not the gain of fluid. So which options are ruled out? Gain of fluid wale. B is showing the gain. D is showing the gain. F is showing the gain. So these are ruled out. What are we losing in sweating? We are losing water. Water is going out. So salt is remaining in the body. So it is hyperosmolar state that we get. The osmolarity increases. It is the loss of water which is happening, Lakshmi. Okay. So hyperosmolar, where is the osmolarity increasing? In the diagram E. Uh, C is your loss of isotonic fluid, right? Like your diarrhea, vomiting, hemorrhage, burns. This is your salt wasting. So this is basically your water loss, which happens in desert or also in your diabetes insipidus, right? Diabetes is basically polyuria, be it diabetes insipidus, be it diabetes mellitus. So it's a water which is going out, okay? All right, let's solve the next question. What do you think would be the answer to this one? Thirty-year-old female with Addison's disease. What will be the diagram looking like? Very good. Amazing. So I can see all of you getting this right. See, what is Addison's disease? Addison's, Addison's, remember AD. Addison's is your adrenal deficiency, right? Addison's is your adrenal deficiency deficiency so adrenal deficiency ho raha hai addison's mein so it is your salt wasting which is happening so this is your loss of fluid so again these options ruled out where you have the gain of fluid salt we are wasting so what remains in the body is the water that is your hypoosmolar state the osmolarity will decrease the osmolarity is decreasing in this one. Here the osmolarity increasing, here it is compensating. So this one is basically your option G. There is loss of fluid with the decrease in osmolarity. Okay? Thank you so much for those kind words. Okay? Now I'll give you some questions for myself. Like, 
let's say that this is your uh, okay this is basically your icf and this is ecf okay this is icf and this is ecf where will you see okay where will you see a diagram okay remember where will you see a diagram like this your Where will you see a diagram like this? Yeah, delete हो गया ठीक है एक मिनट Let me draw it again. Where will you see a diagram like this? This is like the final state that you are seeing. Okay, Pratadi says sweating. How about others? Where will you see this diagram? I'll, I'll, I'll. Let me give you the options for this. Where will you see this diagram? Ah, uh, will you see this with adrenal insufficiency? Will you see this with SIADH? Will you see this with diabetes insipidus? or will you see this the answer is none of the above where will you see this diagram where will you see this diagram is it adrenal insufficiency is it siadh is it diabetes insipidus or it is none of the above very good i can see many of you getting this right so this was just like a, a you know crooked examiner here dr nikita here giving you the option like this the answer is none of the above just don't look at the ecf volume kam ho raha hai aur osmolarity bad raha hai so we are losing out water that is water is getting lost in diabetes insipidus why it is not uh, the none of the above because can you also see that the icf volume is increasing osmolarity is increasing can this happen both osmolarity increasing and icf volume increasing no we said that both of them are opposite if the icf osmolarity is increasing uh, the ecf osmolarity is increasing the icf volume should decrease so in diabetes insipidus the diagram should be like this okay the diagram should be like this okay basically water going from both okay water going from both so this is where i wanted to make clear this one point ki kabhi kabhi aisa if there's a crooked examiner like me you might get a question like this ki where will you get this diagram so in that cases look at the icf volume also they go the opposite okay let me ask you another question here right this is the icf and this is the ecf the final state that you have basically is okay this is the final state that you have where is this possible what is this condition where you get the final state like this very good you see that this one is basically the gain of fluid with the decreased osmolarity so you have the gain of fluid with the decreased osmolarity so we are gaining the fluid which is just water it's not salt so basically this is increased water where do we have increased water it is your siadh right this is your gain of hypotonic fluid so this is your hypo osmolar right this is your hypo osmolar volume expansion state it's your hyper osmolar volume expansion state okay next question tell me a uh, sweating okay sweating will lead to which of the following will it be your hypo osmotic volume contraction option 2 this is hypo osmotic will it be your hyper osmotic volume a uh, expansion volume contraction volume expansion hypoosmotic volume uh, hyperosmotic hyperosmotic volume expansion or it is hyperosmotic volume contraction sweating will lead to which of the following states 1 2 3 4 
This is hyper, hypo, and hyper. Spreading will lead to which of the following? What do you think, Batula? Nitin? See, so as I mentioned in the table that we saw, this hypoosmotic, hyperosmotic, this is not what we are losing. This is the final state of the body. Okay, this is the final state of the body. In sweating, what are we losing in sweating? In sweating, there is water loss. That means we are losing the water. What remains in the body is salt. So the osmolarity increases. So it is hyperosmotic. There is loss. So there is hyperosmotic volume contraction. Okay, so the answer will be hyperosmotic volume contraction. Because this hypoosmotic, hyperosmotic, it's not the fluid that we are losing or gaining. This is the final state which is happening in the body. The osmolarity is increasing. So this is hyperosmotic volume contraction. All right. Is this clear with everyone? I hope uh, all of you who said in the initial uh, starting of the session that you find this topic difficult. I hope I have lived up to it and I have uh, simplified this topic of Darrow unit diagram for you. Only two things to remember. Loss or gain will be reflected in the ECF volume and ECF osmolarity is inversely proportional to the ICF volume. ECF osmolarity, inversely proportional to the ICF volume. That is what you need to know and you will be good to solve this questions. Volume contraction, volume expansion loses. Absolutely, that's what it's your ECF. Basically, it's indicating your ECF, okay? Thank you so much, everyone. I'll be seeing you again today itself at 9 p.m. We have a two-hour class, 9 to 11 p.m. For the plus subscribers, there is this radiology revision course that is going on with the MCQs. And today we have some neuroradiology, we have GIT, musculoskeletal, genitourinary, mixed bag MCQs revision is what we have. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. And I hope now each one of you will be praying for a Darrow unit diagram question in your exam. All right. Goodbye. Take care and keep studying, keep revising and keep winning. Thank you so much. And yes, let me also tell you that uh, the timings of the KBMD, the free special classes that I used to take at 5 p.m. For the time being, I am now taking it at 12 p.m. Very, very interesting, uh, fun learning sessions on Banega MD. Uh, tomorrow, we will have top 10 mnemonics. The MCQs with top 10 mnemonics is what we are going to discuss. You'll have the leaderboard as well. So please join in for the same at 12 p.m. tomorrow. It's a free live class. All right.